This section of organizing your Google Drive will have to do with creating folders. As you can see, my Google Drive has several folders and it has some random files at the bottom. Remember that I can look at those in the icon view that you see now by tapping this icon at the top. I can also change it to a list view with all of my folders and my loose files down here at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and change it back to the icon view. Now, I had those loose files at the bottom. As you create a number of documents, gathering them in folders by topic is a good place to start. To create a new folder, just tap the plus button in the lower right hand corner of the screen and then tap folder. Remember, the folders you create will be placed in numerical and alphabetical order in your drive. The naming system you use is important for staying organized. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to actually call it, put a one at the beginning of this and then I'm going to just call this folder classwork. What you'll notice is that folder then is the very first one in the list. In order for me to move any of these loose files into that new folder, I'll just hit the three dots and I will hit move. And in my drive, the very first folder I see because I put that one at the beginning is classwork. I can move that file into classwork. One strategy to consider for organization in Google Drive involves creating master folders. For example, you might have an English folder with all of the folders and files related to your English classes, or even folders and separate files from each year, which could be titled freshman year, sophomore year, etc. So I might do something like this. So by creating folders in that way, I now have a master system where all of my work from my freshman year could be stored in one file and it doesn't have to be deleted at the end of the year. The next year I move on and keep everything in the sophomore folder. Remember within those folders, I can also create subfolders. So that is a pretty good system to use, having those master folders. And at any time, if I want to move other folders that have been created into one of those master folders, all I have to do is select the three dots, choose Move, and then I can move into that folder. Google Drive also gives the options to color code your folders. Choosing a color scheme to identify the content of your folders can make it easier to navigate and find the files you need easily. Using the folders we created in the last step, let's take a look at how that might work. Under the three dots, if I go to change color, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start with purple here, then blue, then green, And yellow. So color coding files can make them visual, color coding folders can make them visual and easier to see when you're looking in your Google Drive for information. Let's come down here to these files at the bottom. Here's another strategy that you can use. Starring files you are currently working with makes it easy to look under the starred section for that file. So I'm going to go ahead with these loose files at the bottom and add each one to my starred files. So I've put a star on each one of those loose files. When I come up to the three lines in the upper left, now when I look under starred, I will find each of those loose files, the Google document, the Google drawing, the Google sheet, I'll find each of those there. Remember, if you add stars to several files, eventually this area will become cluttered. If you unstar the files as you're finished with them, this strategy becomes more effective. 
to unstar them, I'm just going to hit the three dots and then hit remove from starred. So that's a good place to put your files that you're currently working with. And then all you'll have to do is look under the starred area of your drive to easily find them. Understanding how Google Classroom works with Google Drive is very important. As soon as you join Google Classroom for the first time, a folder called Classroom is created in your Google Drive and subfolders for each class you join are created within that Classroom folder. So here in my drive, here's my Google Classroom folder. Now I have many classes in here from my time as a teacher, but I'm also going to go to one that I've been added to as a student, this Google PD 2018. You'll see within that folder there's just one Google Doc, one assignment, a back to school essay. Now if I jump over to Google Classroom, let's take a look at where I would actually find that. Here's that same classroom, that Google PD. If I go to Classwork, you're going to see this back to school essay. So down here where it says My Work, that Google Doc right there, it's attached in Google Classroom, but it's also found in that folder of Google Drive. Anytime your teachers create an assignment in Google Classroom that makes a copy of a Google Doc, a sheet, or a slide, that file will not only be available in Google Classroom, but it's also going to be in this folder in Google Drive. This can be really helpful because if you have an assignment that's in Classroom, if you accidentally were to bump this X right here and delete that work from the assignment, all you have to do is go back to your Google Drive and find that uh, file you can reattach it and keep moving forward. The last thing to mention has to do with the shared with me portion of Google Drive. Now when we go to the shared with me portion you can see that I have several files that have been placed in here. I am not the owner of any of these files. They've all been shared with me by other owners. It's really difficult for some users who want to organize this section of their Google Drive. But the best thing to do in the shared with me is just to leave this section alone. It's a place where documents that have been shared with you are stored and it's not meant to be organized with folders or renamed files. You can find files here by searching for them in the search bar. And if you have files you need to find quickly, what you can actually do is add those to your Google Drive. So for example, I'll take this document at the top. If I hit the three dots, you will see as I look through these different options, about three quarters of the way down it says add shortcut to drive. If I go ahead and tap there, I can put it in any location I want. But now I've made a shortcut to my drive. And if I go back to my files at the bottom, you'll see that that document has now been added to my Google Drive and I can put it into folders, rename it, organize it in any way that I want. So using folders and using naming systems are both good ways to help organize the things that you're working with so that you can quickly find your files in Google Drive. Mm -hmm.